to DFC Sprawl Spring Brawl. Spring Brawl. Not Sprawl and Brawl. That's <laughs> Not nice. Sprawl Brawl. Yeah. Got 264. That's right up my weight class. <laughs> little ACDC there, intro music. Not yeah. too bad. ACDC. You can actually yeah. understand the words to this song. It's a good walkout song. Yeah. So apparently uh, Brian uh, has a pretty uh, big fight career. He's fought some really good fighters. Uh, Brett Murray twice. Uh, uh, Sherman uh, Pettigast twice and beat him once. He's also fought Dan Severn back in the day. And he, uh, his last win was 15 seconds. 15 second knockout against Andrew Gordon. It's pretty impressive. 15 thanks, second knockout. thanks again, Bruce, for all the information. Bruce is the Bruce is uh, sitting out there on Facebook uh, getting a hold of us. If you want to get a hold of us, you can go to Brock Larson's Facebook. Uh, you can text me at uh, 218-839-7908, or uh, you can hit me up on my Facebook, Matt Taylor. Uh, speaking of that, I, I had a, a kind of a funny one uh, that came up on Facebook on the break here. Uh, Jeremy Umlin said, uh, how can it get any better than listening to Matt Taylor and Ed Minky try to figure out what a belly-to-belly -belly suplex is? L O L. <laughs> yeah. Okay, belly to belly suplex. All right, whatever. Speaking of Jeremy Umlin, uh, I used to do a lot of commentary back in the day, and uh, his uh, debut fight uh, uh, up in uh, Alex against uh, Nate Reed. Um, I was I, I'm sitting there doing commentary, and and uh, Jeremy, uh, he's big, bald, yes. wearing black yes. shorts. Nate Reed, big, bald, wearing black shorts, and I'm like, How could you tell him apart? That's what I said. I said is. Well, you got Nate Reed here, big bald guy, black shorts. Uh, you got uh, Jeremy Umland, uh big bald, black shorts. Good luck telling him apart. So Jeremy went and got his name tattooed on his arm <laughs> after oh, that, God. and he said it's because to put it right on his head, because of that right on his tattoo. forehead. Uh, he's definitely a big boy. So sounds uh, like a little Beastie Boys. Chris Latoski, Lato uh, I know how to say it. Somebody told me Latoski. Yeah, Chris Latoski. He's more of a BJJ guy. Um, he's a purple belt at ACA, so uh, it's the uh, American Combat Academy. Uh, those guys are tough dudes. Uh, he's three and zero, and Brian Hayden is twenty three and twelve. So it's a pretty good, impressive record. Twenty three and twelve. That's Definitely got to get the experience side to him. You can see Dylan coming out here and uh, in uh, Chris's corner. Uh, I've always liked the guys from ACA. Really good bunch of guys. Yep. Train hard. Yep. Always respectful. Well, Beastie Boys. Does it, <laughs> so who's got the better walkout song, ACDC or the Beastie AC Boys? ACDC. Let us know on Facebook what, which song do you think is better. I'm kind of leaning towards uh, ACDC myself. I'm thinking the Beastie Boys has you it. You like Beastie Boys? Oh, I just got, a, just got a text from Jeremy Lang. Jeremy the Landlord Lang? What does it say? Jeremy's got like the worst uh, short hair. Watching live, I think you're now are the HTWs walking out now. Oh, the heavyweights. Oh, okay. The heavyweights. Well, anyway, to answer your jumbled, uh, crazy ass question, Jeremy Lang, uh, <laughs> Tony Martin is the next fight, so I think stay tuned. I think, I think Jeremy's been hitting the head too many so, times. So, speaking of commentary, quick before these guys get going, uh, one time I was doing uh, doing commentary for one of Jeremy Lang's fights, and I said, uh, I said, yeah, and the weird thing is, Jeremy's not even that good of a wrestler. And <laughs> what I meant was that Jeremy didn't have all the accolades that some of these wrestlers had, but had really become quite a good wrestler in yeah. the MMA. Yeah. So I'm walking through Walmart one day, and I get this phone call, and it's Jeremy Lang, and I answer, and I'm like, oh boy. And he's like, so, uh, so I'm not a good wrestler, huh? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about, dude? He's like, you said on your commentary I wasn't a good wrestler. I'm like, Jesus Christ, Jeremy, could you grow up a little bit? Yeah. I said that you weren't. You weren't as... Uh, he took it out of context, yeah, right? Yeah. Exactly. All right, round number one. I 
I think so. You, the, the first one. Oh. Yeah. Brian Hayden's in the black trunks. Somebody help me out here. Jesus. Brian. Yeah, Brian's the. Uh, Brian's the heavier, heavier dude in the in the black trunks, and Christopher is the is the taller, lanky dude in the yellow trunks. We should pay a little more attention as they're no. walking out. Jesus, I guess <laughs> stop telling stories. So so far, uh, pretty much just uh, some striking, some kicking. Nice little front kick there yes. by uh, Christopher. Nice head kick too. He's got nice uh, nice changing up kicks. Looks to me like uh, Brian though is. Uh, just a power puncher. Yes. Chris is in the yellow, yeah. Yep, we were right. Chris is in the yellow. Ooh. Nice knee there by uh, yep. Brian. Let's see what uh, he can do against the cage here. Looks like uh, Brian is trying to go for a little trip there, but... Chris has a, a headlock, and he breaks that to do a little damage. Nice, upper nice uppercut, uppercut by yeah. Brian. Ooh, and then a nice knee by Chris. But these guys a are just, nice knees. Oh, just yeah. kicking the shit out of each other. Oh, Ooh, there we go. So that was uh, Brian just uh, kind of dropped me, uh, dropped Chris with a knee there. See if he's gonna back up and let him in, or if he's gonna. You know, Chris being, uh, you know, more of a BJJ guy, yeah. you know, he doesn't want to stand up. He doesn't act up, like it. No, he's letting him stand up, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, but Brian, had, yeah. Brian says, yep, get back up. <laughs> nice head kick. You know, Ooh, for, for, a nice BJJ kick. Guy, uh, for a BJJ guy, for a BJJ guy, uh, Chris has got some pretty good strikes. Yes. I don't think he wants to stand in exchange with Brian, though. No. Brian is no. heavy-handed. Like he's trying to do a takedown. Nice. nice takedown defense. Yeah. Oh, but he oh, jerks away. Nice. Very nice. That was a nice takedown there. Yep. yep. Now Chris got the pass. He's all the way in half guard. He's doing a good job controlling the head. Now what Brian is trying to do is get his back against the cage and stand back up. Two minutes left in this first round here. Two-ish. 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 Can't trust that clock. Yeah, that's true. So I'm, I'm thinking that Chris is going to try to step around to the back here. And I think Brian knows that's keeping his back against the, yes. against the cage. Little cage grab in there. Yes. So Brian did what he needed to do. He got his back against Ooh. the cage and stood back up. Now it looks Which like he probably connected not a pretty good. Thing, good. Thing, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice punching by Ooh, Brian. Nice there. punch. He's think, out. He's done. I think. Yep. That, I think the ref's gonna it. stop Come it on. here. Yep, he stopped it. Yep. Very nicely yes. done. A couple good power punches and I'm right Hayden. down on them. Very powerful striking. He's probably asking a ref, did you get the license plate of that truck? <laughs> That's probably true. So Christopher comes up short, gets his first loss. His record goes to 3-1, and one, and uh, Brian uh, chalks up another uh, win to his uh, already extensive record. Yeah, the winner came out to uh, ACDC, didn't he? Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Last time, Chris came out to uh, Highway uh, Highway to the Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins. Now, that's a tough song. That was from the old Top Gun movie. Yeah. <laughs> yep.
Jeremy Lang just texted me and said that his shorthand is spot on, punk. It always <laughs> ends up being a fight with him. <laughs> no. Did Jeremy retire from fighting? Or is he fighting again? No, he retired. Did he? Yep, he's doing his uh, uh, CrossFit, and that CrossFit gym's been really busy, and so he's focusing on that. So I hate to say it, but I'm pretty damn excited about this next fight. We got Tony Martin is. coming up, and he's going to be fighting Tyler uh, Helen Brand. Very, very tough fight for Tony. Uh, this is this is definitely uh, in probably the, his toughest uh, challenge. Toughest yet. challenge yet. The last fight was uh, was also uh, pretty tough, but um, yeah, this guy is super good, and yep. uh, you know we have huge, huge expectations from Tony. He's been training yep. with Brock Larson for the past Did, probably, three, I think he four went down to. Uh, American top team in Florida with him once, didn't he? Well, he, he just on. got back. Yep, yeah. he, he went down there for for six weeks. Yep. I'm surprised nobody's picked him up yet. Like Bellator, go fight over there, maybe. Yeah, I mean, the the problem with Tony is that he hasn't had very many tough fights. That's true. He's just destroyed the people he's gone against, except for that last fight. Yep. But he he hasn't he hasn't really. It, it, but the but it's not his fault. He'll no. fight anybody. He just can't get fights because people, nobody wants to fight him. Nobody wants to get their um, their orbital socket, you know. <laughs> I destroyed. believe that fight was at uh, Bada Bing, yeah, wasn't it? it was yeah, horrible. the one punch knockout Worst where he broke. Tony didn't he break three bones that night? His hand and uh, orbital socket and the guy's jaw. Yep, it was uh, just a rough one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Ed and I both train with uh, Tony, so obviously we are having a hard time being super biased on this one. Um, but on this other hand, I don't know I don't, much about the other guys. I don't so. know a whole lot about Tyler, other than the fact that he's ranked number one in Wisconsin. Yep. Uh, he's got a six and zero record. He's supposed to be well rounded, tough as hell. Uh, talked to Brock about it. Brock said, you know, this is definitely uh, going to test Tony, and uh, you know, now of course Tony thinks he's uh, invincible. Yeah. So okay, so you remember at the Target Center when Tony fought, and then he uh, afterward he proposed to his girlfriend. Yes, I remember that. So I said to him, uh, I said, hey man. Um, what was your plan if you didn't win that fight? Like, were you still going to propose? And he looked at me like I had no idea what I was talking about, and he says, well, it never occurred to me I could lose. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no backup plan. Yeah. Tony Martin. And Tyler trains with the academy down in uh, Minneapolis, and uh, those guys don't put out uh, too many pussies. So uh, no. Now... This fight was supposed to be against Nate Homey, and uh, Nate is a uh, black belt from the uh, from the academy down in Minneapolis, uh, but had some kind of injury, I guess, and wasn't able to make it. So, uh, but it, it it's good that they were able to find another really tough opponent yes. instead of just because uh, I think know. Tony's got to be tested just a little bit more. Yep. Grant, I would I would never want to step in the cage with him, but. He's got to be. <laughs> Hell no. I don't even like rolling with him. And I think Tony's uh, bottom game has really, really gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, I mean, he's incredible. If anybody's ever watched him train down to get some, he's really, really a really good ground game. Well, look who his teacher is, Brock Larson. Yep. Dave Camarillo Blackwell. I mean, I think when he was down in Florida, he focused mostly on his striking, though. So I'm, yeah. I'm excited to see if he comes out with some, you know, more combinations and stuff. I can't. Did he focus on his striking? Yeah, they were focusing on his striking. Wow. Yeah. I mean, they do everything down there, yeah. but that's what that's what he was really focusing on. My eyes are not good enough to see who's in the corner down there. I don't can't see can't tell if that's Greg Nelson or not. No, it's not Greg putting the Vaseline on. Is it Greg or not? I it's can't not. Tell. No. He's too tall to be Greg. Too tall. Oh yeah, uh, I think that that's Tom Schmidt. That's what uh, that's what Bruce says and uh, and. Uh, Bruce does a lot of, uh, or Tom does a lot of cornering uh, for guys at the academy. Super awesome black belt. Here comes Tony Martin. 
And here's the golden boy. I believe we'll see uh, Brock Larson, Adam McDonough in his corner. Ooh, little Aerosmith, that's a good choice. I think this is the one he always walks out to. Is it? Yep. Looks like we can see him now. He's looking pretty focused. Oh, I'm so excited. If anybody's ever seen Tony fight, he puts on a pretty exciting show. If it lasts more than a minute. Yep. Here comes Brock with his uh, stool. I'm wondering what these green shirts are that they're wearing. I never American seen Top them. Team shirts. Oh, they're American Top Team shirts. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah, and Jacob's going to be in his corner as well. I it see looks that, like, or at least walking out with him. I don't know if he's yeah. cornering him. And this is only Tony's second fight at 155, and uh, I think that's a great weight for him. He's yes. built well for 55. Uh, he doesn't have a great, he doesn't have a real easy cut to get there. He's, uh, you know, he's a 190 pound guy I or so. I uh, think Brock said he had to cut uh, five pounds, I think. Yeah. To make this. This time. Yeah. Yep. So it wasn't a whole lot of cut to, you know. You know, but but normally, you know, Tony's 190 pounds. He's, yeah. he's a very muscular kid. Uh, doesn't have a lot of body fat anyway, so. But he, he looks, looks pretty good, though. They both look lean. pretty good. There's some six-packs going on. They got a 12-pack in there. Well, like a. Are you looking at the ring girl again, man? Yeah, it might be. <laughs> it's like an 18-pack. <laughs> so Tony Martin's in the uh, tight black shorts, and... Uh, and then we got Tyler. Uh, the black tidy whities Helen, Helen Brand. <laughs> yes, the black tidy whities They're not quite GSPs, though. Here we go. Round number one. Touch gloves. Just going to apologize in advance if I scream or <laughs> faint. Thanks for the warning because you might scare me. Okay. Looks like, uh, looks like Tyler's going for the takedown here. Yep. Tony's defending. Doing a pretty good job of defending against the cage. He's got the underhook here. Tony is very dangerous with Kimuras, so you, you always got to watch for him grabbing those damn Kimuras. Okay, Ooh, Tyler backs the, out. Yep. Nice head kick. But again, uh, Helen Brand goes, goes for that takedown, but now Tony's got him against the cage. They've just reversed the position. It's like Tony's trying to get him down, though. If Tony picks him up, he's going to do a big ass slam. Yeah. He's got his hands locked. Tony is the strongest non-farmer I've ever met. <laughs> now it's reversed yeah. again. They're back against the cage. I thought for sure Tony was trying to set him up to put him down on the mat, but. Well, like I said, Tony has been working his striking. I know he's he's got uh, some really crazy kicks that he's been working on and stuff, but. It looks like uh, looks like uh, Tyler kind of was anticipating that, and he kept mm -hmm. going for that takedown. Tyler's doing a pretty good job working uh, Tony's inside leg, but now Tony has got him against the cage and yeah. says, "Yeah, you like that? Take, take a some couple of knees right in the inside of the of legs." Of yep. Oh, I think that was to the balls. Yep, <laughs> to the balls. You can you can always do one to the balls. <laughs> like there's one free one, right? Yeah. Only if the ref, only if the ref catches it. <laughs> that's or another, if he doesn't catch that's it. That's another Jeremy Lang yeah. thing. He's always he's always been good for one to the balls. Make sure the ref doesn't see it. Nice jab by Tony there. Tony's a little bit bigger than Tyler. Yeah. See, a little taller. Ooh, nice. Just missed on that one. Oop, he got caught there, yeah, though. he got, got caught. caught. with a cross. Ooh, 
Oh, another nice head kick. Uppercut, good combinations. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Tony's hands have improved. I mean, he's always punched hard, but he's just it's gotten like he's trying so to much crisper. Yep. I think he's trying to go for another takedown. Ninety-three percent of seventy-seven people voted that Tony will win via submission. submission. Boy, they I don't. I think that they're under underestimating under, under the other guy. Tyler. Yeah. Uh, I, I do. I, mean, I don't want to say that I don't think Tony's going to win by submission, but Tyler is a tough kid. Oh, he's good pass. Yep. Nice good pass. Good pass by Tony. And this is where this is exactly where Tyler does not want to be. Tony has a great crossbody lockdown. Oh, but that was yep, that, that was, was pretty nicely good done. Yep. He is. It, it looks to me, and I can't see from there. No, nope, oh, he's, he's going yeah, for it. I thought he was going for a darts, but now he's yep. locked up that Kimura. He's trying to get that Kimura. It's, he's got his Kimura grip. He's got uh, t Tyler's head in there still, which is okay. But he's gonna. Looks like. I don't know if he gave it up. Or Tyler's not. trying to stand up though. They got Tony's got one minute left in this round. Ish. Ish. Nice trip. Beautiful trip. So now Tony's in half guard on top. Oh, Tyler tried to bridge and he roll. He tried it, but it didn't work. Now Tony's, Tony's got on mount. There he goes. Okay, Looks now like he's, he's got, got the back. back. Okay, he's okay, going he's for got a, the back. Yep. Rear oh, naked he's choke. In, he's in, actually, he's got the short choke right there. Short choke? I think he's got the short choke. Yeah, no, it's rear naked. Is it under his chin, though? I don't know. I can't tell. Looks like he's got it on his chin. He's giving the thumbs up here. Uh-oh. Nicely done. Nicely done by done. Tyler. Yep. So Is the end of round end one. End of round one. What would you think? Uh, I think that was clearly Tony's round. Yeah. I mean, he got the back and close on the submission. He didn't um, uh, didn't, didn't get that close to finishing it. And uh, Tyler did a good job reversing it right at the end there. Uh, but the damage on the feet was pretty pretty, pretty back yes, and forth. There wasn't anything the, uh, specific. Huh. Tony almost had the rear naked choke. No, he, he just couldn't get it under the chin. Yeah. He needed to get that takedown a minute earlier in that round, so he had a little time to work. Tony doesn't even look like he's tired. Tony doesn't get tired. <laughs> you remember when he had his cast on? Apparently, and this is coming from an unknown. I don't have this number on my phone, but the ring girl's name is Alicia Peterson, and she is gorgeous, according mm -hmm. to this person. I am not saying I that. don't know which one Alicia I is. I can't even. I can't see that far. I can't. <laughs> look at Brock's running again with a stool. All right, we're heading into round two here. So we think that uh, Tony's up that round. Touch gloves. Tony's jab looks pretty crisp. Yeah. And seriously, when I say he doesn't get tired, I'm not kidding. I, I, I've seen him train, you know, for 40 minutes Ooh, that was a nice nonstop yep. being, being pickled, and he yeah. just doesn't, just, there's nothing. And he's pretty healthy right now, too. No, no injuries, not coming into this dinged up. It's very cool that Tyler was willing to take this fight, win or lose. Was it a short notice? Uh, it wasn't super short notice, but um, you know, he just stepped up to the plate. He's putting his, he's putting his uh, untarnished record on the line against a guy who is tough. I mean, that, that I, I just really admire fighters that are willing to do that, not try to protect their record. Mm -hmm. And I think that the big organizations are starting to, to pay attention to that a little bit more and say, you know, they're starting to give a little more credit to people that are, are willing to take fights, win or lose. Okay, that there was a nice takedown. Nice by take down. Yes. Very nice. Maybe Jeremy Umlin can can uh, let me know what that was called. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, and Tony's progressed to side control. He's doing a really nice job checking the hip with his knee. And this, and he's got three and a half minutes to work yet in this round. Or wait. It's a nice knee to the arm. Two and a half. It's counting down. Ish. Ish. I can't quite see what he's doing there. I can't tell what he's doing from here. I got that pole in a way. And on the monitor, it's hard to see. But the monitor he's, he's is in full. He's in full um, side, side control. control. Nice knee. Those always scare me. Yes. Because they could break a rib. Well, I don't. It scares me that the guy's going to get his head in the way. Yeah. You're like accidentally knee. Like that almost happened yep. right there. Those knees can't safer. feel good. No, that, uh, I'm sure that does not tickle. So this is exactly where Tony wants this fight and exactly where uh, um, Tyler does not. Ooh, he's got a guillotine Really, in. really nice job getting up. I can't see where Tony's other hand is. Oh. Nice he, takedown. But, but Tony's got that guillotine. Yep. Oh, no, he let it go. No, did he I let it go? I think he still got it in, though. Is that, where's his other? Is that Tony's hand? No, he let Tony's. it go. Oh, this is an interesting position. Oh, that's, it's over. There's an interesting uh, submission from there that uh, I think Tony was going for real quick. Can't remember what it's called. It's a neck crank. Well, I'm impressed with Tyler's ability to get uh, Tony on his back. Yes. He's done it in both That's not rounds. an easy job. And, yeah, I mean... But like you said, Ed, his uh, Tony had, you know, I don't want to say zero defense on the bottom before, but he was so good at being on top mm -hmm. that he didn't work on it. And now he's really been working his his um, his on the ground. So good at getting back up, though. Now he's got uh, he's got the suplex position. I know what that's called, Jeremy Umlin. It's not a belly to belly. So, uh, this oh. is a this is a, a a belly to back. They're fighting so hard, the sponsors. Are flying Sticker off came the off the uh, mat there. That was a nice little takedown. Nothing too fancy, but. And I think like he's got Tony in Tony's half guard. Tony's in there. half guard, yep. yep. Tony's got the near side underhook. It's not a very good position to do much damage from. But Tony's definitely winning this round. Yes. He's got 30 seconds left, so this is probably He's going into the third. He's definitely been dominant this whole round, but he hasn't really done much, I don't think, damage to him. No, nope, not a lot. But vice versa is true as well. Yeah. So it looks like this is going to go into the third. Ten seconds. So we break. Never seen a clock stop on five point four <laughs> seconds before. The, the the viewers at home cannot see the clock, so <laughs> but the, it, we're using the clock up on the jumbotron, and every time it gets to to four point five seconds, it stops. It does seem like an odd time to to stop. So Tony Martin, uh, fairly dominant the first round, much more dominant the second round. Probably going into this third round mm -hmm. up two rounds. So Tyler, in order to uh, to make this uh, to get this fight as a win, he needs to either submit or, or knock Tony out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like saying it. That guillotine. There's a, there's a shot of the guillotine right now up on the uh, up mm -hmm. on the replay, and uh, that was close. Tony's got a nasty guillotine. Um, it, He's got a nasty Kamara and a guillotine. Yeah, th yeah. Those are kind of his two two submissions. I think at one point he was going for a um, for a Darce, but we didn't. <clears throat> and I'm gonna have to get reminded what that uh, what that neck crank is. That he's going for. Just checking the 
Checking the Facebook and the text messages, <laughs> seeing if anything's going on there. Oh, and it started already. I got to get off Facebook. All right. Pay attention, Wayne. Ooh, nice shot. Nice shot. Kind of a spear I think he's single. got his back, though. One hook, anyway. I don't you get both there? Or you I don't know. One I can't end. see if that's Tony's foot or not. Oh, Tony's foot is in it. No, one of them is on the outside. One's on the outside. This is very early in the third round. This is not where Tyler wants to be yeah. at all. It's like Tony's going to try to sink the other hook, and if he did, and he's, he's going to flatten him out. Flatten yep. him out. Now Tyler is trying desperately to hold on to Tony's arms right now because if Tony if gets he, his, let's go his even arms, one arm, yeah. he's going to start swinging, and that sucks. He rolls him over. Oh, oh, back to half guard. That was well done by by uh, Tyler, and it looks like he was trying for a guillotine, but it it fizzled. So this is exactly where Tony wants to be and exactly where Tyler does not want to be. Oh, it looks like Tony might be fishing for that Kimura. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. We got, a, we got a security issue. We're not sure what it is, but we're all right. We're not getting arrested quite yet. All right, Tony's still uh, still on top. We we aren't getting arrested for the time no. being. We're fine. It's kind of scary when you got three cops standing behind you, a yeah. security guard. What are you guys doing? Are you playing with a scoreboard? I'm like, no. We stopped it at... Uh, 5.4 seconds. Okay, so Tony is still <laughs> still doing pretty good. He's, uh, I think he's passed to the mount. He's got a low mount position right here. I think. No. Is that one leg or two? No, he's got two. He's got two he's legs actually, That's such a bizarre position. He's that actually, is like a figure four. He's, he's figure fouring uh, Tyler's legs in a really low that's mount. That's an awkward position. Yeah, I bet you that hurts. So we got two minutes left here. I'd like to see Tony go for a submission. I don't want him to give up position to do it, but I'd like to see him. I'd like to see a little ground and pound from Tony. You know, the problem is that Tyler's just really damn tough, and he doesn't want to give up any, he doesn't want to take any risk and let so Tyler get on top. He's hanging on to Tony's head for dear life. It's not an exceptional camera angle. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> better. And, it does, I mean, there's very little chance of it being stood up from this position. I mean, Tony's got full mount. Mm -hmm. He's got those legs figure forward crazy like. So an excellent shot of the ref's back. All right, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Not trying to be too critical, just... Just cut the camera, too, for the love of Christ. Yeah, I think that this is going to get ridden out here, and Tony's just going to finish off with strong yep. with some punches. Oh. Unless he gets some, uh, now, he's got his back Boy, that's now. so awkward with, the, that's a weird with that figure, figure four. four. These are some tough uppercuts, man. That one, that he's sucks. He's taking some punishment there. Uh, did he just tap? No, no, it no looked, he didn't it, tap. it looked like for it looked a second like he, like he did. I think he was reaching. Oh, there was a nice shot. Boy, those are just jack in oh. Tyler's face. Oh. Well, let's finish it, Tony. He's going to finish it? He's going to finish it. You got 22 seconds left, man. Let's see if Tony can do it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Get the tap. You got 12 seconds left. Oh, God. I don't it. think he's going to get the tap. He Is he going to do he's it? right there. He's right there. There's 4.6 seconds left. 
His face is turning red. Oh, oh, he didn't tap out. So close. I thought for sure he was so going to tap close. out. Wow. Very nicely Very close done. from, he was that close this to is, tapping out. This is not a decision. No. Uh, Tony Martin all the way. Very nicely done. I give the guy credit, though, for taking this fight. Oh, yeah. Tyler is tough as hell, and, and shit, even just surviving against Tony Martin for three rounds is, is uh, a lot of, uh, uh, means a lot. But that, that really shows you the improvement between Tony uh, at the last uh, yep. DFC and this DFC. Uh, you know, I mean, this was a very definitive, you know, exciting win. Um, and, you know, he, he did some damage. That guy's face looks like crap. You see some of those shots he looks took like in the last zombie. round? Look yeah. like at him. He looks like a zombie, man. I mean, it sucks to stop a fight within just a few seconds of the of the of it. If you know, if it's not by tap. Oh, look at that guy's face, man! I know it's just, just right there. Look at his his face so turning close. purple. He was close. Oh my god! I think if that would have went on in another ten seconds, I think he would uh would have been passed out. Another impressive win for Tony Martin. going on on Facebook? Nothing? I don't know. People are funny. Jeremy text you again? Not yet. Travis. Oh. It's interesting. almost impossible to actually hear what any of these fighters are saying afterward but again very nice job Tony Martin just a little FYI here coming from uh, Travis uh, how do you say his last name Meter 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 uh, we work out with Travis uh, quite a bit uh, good guy uh, he says uh, just an FYI the match between Tony and Tyler was supposed to happen before but Tyler was cut so they got uh, Felipe Novar uh, to fight him instead and that's the fight that Tony had last time at DFC so so this fight's been in the making for a while so um, yeah very nice you did a pretty good job yeah it's kind of fun being able to have all this information yep. coming into us you know ninety nine percent of the people huh that's Okay, so we got a bunch of information about our next fights here. Uh, looks like Bruce wasn't watching the last fight. He just he just kept typing here. So, uh, uh, so uh, Michael French, 132-pounder uh, here. Looks like he's a WEC vet. Yep, WEC vet, 2002. Uh, trains at the ex, uh, ex, uh, Team, Team Extreme, Extreme in Chicago. Chicago. Had a good fight against uh, Antonio uh, something Bunderlos. Is that yeah Bunderlos? I think is how you say his name. Um, also a good fight against uh, Miguel Torres. So wow. he's you know he's got to be tough. His hero growing up was Randy Couture and Hoyce Gracie. Uh, his favorite subject in school is math. So hopefully he'll know who's who's winning Boy, that what Bruce round. Is just a bundle of information. He isn't he? He, How does he know what his favorite subject was in school? I think he might have uh, he might have the internets. He might be typing that into the internets. I'm thinking. And Josh, well, I got to give Bruce credit for being in the Playboy Mansion though too. That's really impressive. Yeah, for sure. And Josh Rave was a uh, last minute replacement for Jeremy Stents, which is a bummer because I always love to see uh, Jeremy uh, Stents uh, fight. Uh, his last win was against uh, Tony um, Beveldy. Uh, he hasn't fought since 2003. 
Uh, he used to train in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, trains at Premier. Uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. He normally fights at 120, uh, 125. Wrestled for Nebraska in high school. National training camp. Hey, what's up, Carl Larson? Mr. Carl Larson's Brock's little brother. So we're joined, joined here by Carl Larson. Say hello, Carl. Say hello, Carl. Say hello, Carl. Hello, how's it going? It's good, good. 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 You enjoying the fights? You enjoying the fights? Oh, we're loving the fights. Yeah. So what did you think of Tony's fight? That was a nail biter. It was. <laughs> but, you know, he won all three rounds, so. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Real good fight. Yeah, but that Tyler kid, he was uh, definitely a game and could have ended at any time, so. Yeah, Tyler was a very good fighter. And they really went at it. There was no back and down for either fighter. That's very true. All right, we got to get back to work. You just came to get me a, a bottle of water, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. That was Carl Larson, everybody. Yeah, that's that. Now, Carl made his MMA de debut against, uh, uh, who was that guy? Who's that guy you did that grappling match against? From Ethan Boyle. Yes, at CFX1. The boy, that, yes. boy, that's aging yourself. That was, CFX one. That's CFX a long time one. ago. That was a that was a heck of a heck of a grappling match there. All right, so we got Michael French coming out. Like we said, this guy's tough. Been in the WEC. Taking on Joshua Rave, last minute replacement for Jeremy Stents. It's horrible. It's horrible. The uh, I, I don't follow a whole lot of MMA uh, outside of just the local stuff, and it's uh, funny because I should know how to say these people's names. Uh, but apparently, it was Antonio Banwall, Banwallos, who was uh, is the former WEC champion. So I probably should have known that. <laughs> you know, I have never seen the guy fight. I haven't watched the WEC since uh, Brock was uh, fighting. Uh, That's right. In it. Carlos Condit. Carlos Condit. Which is where we learn that, that uh, you don't want to slam him for the armbar. Not much of a defense. No. Pretty interesting music. I can't understand a word. It's pretty tough, though. Carl Larson got me a bottle of water. Thank you, Carl. He's such a nice guy. Apparently, Bruce tells me that uh, that uh, Antonio uh, Ban Walos was the champion when Brock was fighting, and I should uh, probably. Uh, you should probably know that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's it's Jeremy Stents, no end. Okay, got it. Getting corrected left and right here. You guys Boy. got a tough job here. You guys can just shut up. Now this is a tough song. I mean, this guy had to go up against the devil. It's pretty good. It's a lot better song than the last one. I can understand the words to this one. That's right. Bruce just informed us that Jeremy is a uh, huge local name here, so. All right, here we go. We're just reading Facebook comments, trying to make sense of them. Uh, oh, it looks like this is a title fight. Yep, this is going to be a five-round title fight. 
Yep. For the 135 pounds. Is this the main event? Uh, nope. We have two two more fights after two this. Two more fights. Okay. Yep. Is there gonna be another intermission after this? Or? I, I I ripped that part off. Yep. Another <laughs> another intermission here. So again, we have uh, Michael French coming out. Uh, he's wearing the brown and white trunks, and he's taking on Joshua Rave wearing the tight it, the spandex the tidy whitey spandex pants. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. That post is right in so the way. So Josh is another one of those uh, guys that changes his level or changes his uh, footing Stance, a lot. Yep. Yep. It's a nice takedown. Right, right down, uh, Michael gets the takedown. Right in front of that pole again. Look up on the screen, dude. Working hard to pass, but uh, Josh has got him in half guard here. Can't quite see where his head is. Has he got that Kimura locked up? He's trying to. He's got the he's got the right grip. Yep. If he could just get the arm over the back, he's gonna get it. This is uh interesting position here. He's using a couple of punches, punches to, to soften the, up the, to the ribs there. to soften him up here. That Kimura grip is just so incredibly powerful if he can lock that up. Now it looks like he's oh, going for it again, but Ooh, and he's going to get dumped. Ooh, he's gonna, yeah. That's interesting. He can still get the Kamara, though. I think he's got it. He, he's keeping it. Boy, it's hard to see. Nope, oh, he let he it had go. It. He let it go. Now, shit, I got confused again already. Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> uh All right, help me out, Bruce. Uh, Michael French, he's got the uh, he's got the the white and brown trunks, right? Yep. Okay. So it looks like Joshua's got a side control, <laughs> but it's a, just a it's weird position because because Michael's uh, kind of got it around the back here. Let's keep on going for that Kamara again, isn't he? Yeah, it looks like that's his kind of his go-to move. Okay. Now he's looking to do a leg ankle. lock. Looks like he's got the straight. He looks like he's got the oh. knee bar. That's that's, that's tight. That, that's tight. That looks like it's going to hurt. Not quite nope. straightened out, but oh, that's Ouch. pretty tight. God, I hate being knee barred. Oh, it's like the worst in the world. Oh, ouch! That's hard to look at. Yeah, that oh. does not feel I very. Can't look that, at that. That does not. There's a there's tap a, right there. Right I there. think he blew his knee. That does not look good. I think he blew his knee. I think he, I think he tried to, to, to hold on to that or to uh, muscle through that. No, he didn't blow his knee. He's still walking. Oh, he it looked up. like it popped out, though. Well, that can happen. Did it pop out? I thought, I thought it popped out, too. Carl Larson says it popped out. <clears throat> All right. Well, Mike French gets a uh, knee bar there. Very, uh, very impressive knee very bar. Very impressive. So yeah, it popped out. You can see on the instant replay there. Ick. Ouch. He's screaming too. Ouch. So 99% of people uh, said that they thought uh, Josh Rave would win by TKO. And uh, they were, they they were, were wrong. Ski. Yep. Michael French does it by submission. Wish I would have been able Very to place a bet submission. on that. Yeah. Did he have the belt before, or just somebody new got the belt? Ooh, that's a good, yeah. Was that a defense, or I actually don't know. Again, we are not the expert commentators. Uh, usually Bruce Hoyer, who knows all these guys well and their backgrounds and their personal uh, their personal battles and their uh, all that stuff. He's usually here, but uh, we got kind of called up on short notice to come up and... Uh, and uh, bring this to you guys, so uh, we appreciate doing you guys. My, doing our best. You're, you're letting us stumble through it. <laughs> I mean, we don't even know what a belly-to-belly -belly suplex is. Christ. Thanks to Jeremy Allen, we know. Now we know. Now we know. 
Ah. Jeremy uh, Stentz has the belt, so this was not a title fight, but they're strapping a belt around him, so uh, I don't know if this is an interim title or how this works. Oh, he's defending the belt. No. Jeremy has the belt. Now, okay. now he's going to have to... Now, uh, Michael's going to fight him to defend it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. He's pretty scary. Is that what he said? That's what he said. So who's actually got no the belt? Does Jeremy have the belt or the other guys? I'm just going to stop saying Jeremy's last name. I've known him for 12 years. Uh, Jeremy currently has the belt. Okay. But he, he had to be pulled out of this for injury or whatever it was. So now Michael has another belt, and they're going to have to get together and unify it or something like that. I'm still confused. Yeah, I am too, but whatever. We're just making this shit up as we go along. Okay, so I guess we're doing another 15-minute intermission here. Oh, so, boy. Uh, we're going to take a little Smoke break. Smoke him if you got him. And uh, 